Heritage Interpretation Connecting Artisans and 21st Century Patronage Sri Lanka has a huge variety of handicrafts, but they are not recognized as viable economic resource. In 21st century, countries like Japan has been found their way to market crafts with well-designed commodities, but we cannot find that marketplace. Also, there are government organizations and several efforts have taken to find it. So I wondered why. And I selected few craft practices which come originally from Candian period, the last kingdom, lacquer work, jewelry making, brassware, dumbara textiles, and visited to their original villages, Hapuvida, Handesa, Nilavala, Talagune. So I realized that we cannot meet the marketplace because these products are still traditional and not meet the needs of the contemporary audience. But I heard of this one person from Talagune, Soma Vansa, who was able to find this marketplace. The artist Barbara Sansoni has accidentally found him and bought his products for the Barefoot, a high-end gallery in Colombo. So what he found was the 21st century patronage. So from Candian era to 21st century, from feudalism to capitalism, the whole concept of patronage has shifted to a new paradigm. Now it's more about emotional values. So project draws on to experiential marketing theory to experiential architecture theory in order to address the 21st century patronage through intangible values. Here is the site facing King's Palace, the Candian era patronage. The program developed to meet both the needs of the artisans and the 21st century patronage. It has several layers, general public who are not aware of crafts, craft lovers, people working with crafts and artisans. The program highlights experiential architecture with sense, feel, think, act and relate. Through the studies, I have come up with what to do and what not to do. Without giving new workshops, provide village tours and it not change artisanal lifestyle. No regular displays, but allow active discussions, events and networking. No demonstrations in 24-7, but demonstrative active workshops weekly. No displays, but galleries with curated tours. The design has experiential pathway, it is the main element, public plaza, an urban response and transitional space to enter the design, raw material shop to support artisans, a basic accommodation, a simple cafe for common observers and responding to Perhara Street, auditorium plus educational block as an awareness hub of the city, demonstrative workshops and activity area, gift shops as a support to artisans. This is me with Anuradha, the next generation of Dumbara artisans and I think together we can hope for a better future in local crafts. Thank you.